In this video I'm going to try to show you how to use partial fractions to evaluate some integrals. Um, and partial fractions is a useful technique. When you get things that look like u substitution should work, but uh, they don't, it doesn't quite work out for you. So here u would be x squared minus 2x minus 3, du would be 2x minus 2, and I just don't have that up there. So i got to come up with something else. So what I'm going to do is completely factor the denominator to get that. And now I'm going to um, decompose that fraction. So what I have is a over x minus 3 plus b over x plus 1. So if you think about it, when you uh, add those two fractions together, the common denominator is x minus 3 times x plus 1. So it's conceivable that we start with something like this. You always use this with proper fractions, which is why I have a over x minus 3 instead of like ax plus b, because that wouldn't be a proper fraction. I would do long division first. All right, uh, what I'll do is clear the denominator. And in doing that, it should look, um, if you look at it and, and just think, like if x equaled negative 1, then a would disappear. Or if x equaled 3, then b would disappear. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to let x equal negative 1. And you can see that a disappears because the coefficient becomes 0. Coefficient of b becomes negative 4. And on the right-hand side, I have negative 8. So I know that b is 2. And similarly, if I let x equal 3, Coefficient of a becomes 4, coefficient of b becomes 0, and then the right-hand side is 12. So I know that a is 3. Um, a, different, a slightly different way of doing that is you look at what's underneath um, a, which we see is x minus 3. Go over here and cover up the x minus 3, and then substitute what would make that 0. So 3 would have made it 0. Plug it in, you end up with um, 3 times 5, 15, minus 3 is 12. 12 divided by 4 which is 3, the exact value that we got for a. Um, if you go back and you look at what we have underneath b, it's x plus 1. So cover that up, and then what would make it 0 is negative 1. Substitute negative 1, you have uh, negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8, divided by negative 4 is 2, so b is 2. That's called the cover-up method, and it works really well. Uh, I recommend that you get uh, proficient at using it. So we know the values of a and b. So we can actually rewrite our fraction, the integrand, um, using those. So a we worked out to be 3 and b is 2. So the integral that we were originally intending to do, which we weren't able to do in its uh, given form, can be rewritten as this integral, which we can definitely do because it's just a pair of natural logs. All right, so that's one example, and I'll do one more for you. So let's say we have uh, x cubed plus 3x squared minus 10x. So this technique works if you can factor the denominator. I mean, it, not always if you can factor the denominator, but I'm going to take an x out, and that leaves me with a quadratic that I can factor into x plus 5 and x minus 2. So in this case, I'm going to break it up into three things that I could have multiplied together to get that common denominator, like so. So the technique starts out the same this time. Um, what I could do now is I could immediately start trying to use the cover-up method. So here I see the denominator of a is x, so 0 would make that 0. Go over here, cover up the x, and substitute in 0 to get uh, 4 in the numerator and negative 10 in the denominator. So a is going to be negative 2 fifths. Uh, over here, what's underneath b is x plus 5. So go here, cover it up, and substitute in negative 5. So that's negative 1 in the numerator, and then I have... Uh, 35 in the denominator, so b is going to be negative 1 over 35. The denominator of c is x minus 2. Come over here, cover up the x minus 2, and substitute in 2 to get 6 over, um, what's that, 2 times 7, so 6 over 14, which is 3 7. So I know what a, b, and c are without doing the work, but I would do the work for you anyway. Um, clear out the denominator. So really, we're just kind of skipping the step where we clear the denominator, um, and we're jumping right to it. That's what the cover-up method does for us. So here, if I let x equal 0, I end up with just negative 10a on the left, and I end up with 4. So I know that a is going to be negative 2 fifths, which is what I got before, unless I screwed that up. Um, x is negative 5 is going to give me 35b, and then that's going to equal negative 1, so b is negative 1 over 35, which again is what I got with the cover-up method. 
And then if I let x equal 2, I end up with just 14c on the left, and I end up with 6 on the right. So c is 3 sevenths. And so finally what I want to do is finish the problem. So here's the original, well it's not actually the original, this is the factored form of the original, which I have changed into these three integrals by doing partial fractions. And then you can see each of those is a relatively simple integral. So negative 2 fifths natural log of x minus 1 over 35 natural log of the absolute value of x plus 5 plus 3 over 7, blah, blah, blah. And there you go. Um, so that's how I would do these problems. They had non-repeating linear factors, um, which is arguably the easiest type. And uh, I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.